is problem number three. No, not this. A uniform horizontal 300 newton beam, 5 meters long, is attached to a wall by a pin connection that allows the beam to rotate. Its far end is supported by a cable that makes an angle of 53 degrees with the horizontal. If a 600 newton person stands 1.5 meters from the wall, find the magnitude of the tension in the cable and the force exerted on the beam by the wall. So, following the tradition that I started with the previous videos, start with a system schema, try to speed it up. We have the wall, we have the man person, and then, no, my handwriting is terrible. We have the beam, it's called the beam, right? I think there are just four objects here and the earth. So why didn't I include the cable? Because the cable has no mass and is only there to provide the tension that will support the beam. So did I miss any object? No. So the wall and the person actually is not interacting. There is no, well, there is no significant force between the wall and the person. How about the wall and the beam? The wall and the beam, Let's call that the uh, pin force, just like the previous problems. The beam in the person, there is like a normal force because the person is standing on the beam. The beam in the earth, of course, gravity. How about the beam in the wall? Yeah, the beam in the wall tension, there's the tension that is right because of the cable, the wall and the earth let's just say they are connected the wall is part of the earth so let's just not or maybe you can do FG, it doesn't really matter because we're not interested in the wall how about the person and the earth, yeah of course the person and the earth attracted by gravity Hmm, did I miss anything? I think not. So our system is the beam and the person. So let's draw a dashed line around the beam and the person. Figure out what the external forces are. We have one internal force, the normal force between the beam and the person, but we do have our system is the person in the beam and then our external forces are the tension force, the pin force, the two gravitational forces. So one acting on the beam and one acting on the person. So here is our free body diagram. Our free body diagram is for that for an extended object. If you notice the person is it disappeared no the person did not disappear it we somehow represented the person to be just a part of the beam you can imagine the person welding into the beam but not really so let's look at the external forces let's look at the easy ones first FG or the weight of the beam is acting on the center of gravity of the beam. So let's just call it FG or let's just call it WB, the weight of the beam, is 300 newtons. So good thing this problem, the weights are already stated so we don't have to go through the process of multiplying by 9.8. That is the weight of the beam, 300 newtons. And it's acting on the center of the beam because the beam is uniformly distributed ang mass niya. Let's see, we did this, now how about the person? The person is the weight of the person, 1.5 meters away from the pin. There is a tension force, there are four external forces, right? And the, the tension is acting in this manner, making an angle of 53 degrees with the horizontal. Now, 
the crucial force of the pin. So let's do it the way we did it in the previous example. Now notice that there are two forces going down and there's one tension force going up. So if, um, I have to guess we need another upward force to make this thing stay in equilibrium. So let's call that F pin Y. And I think there's one more horizontal force. That force is pointing to the left. The X component of FT is pointing to the left. So there's got to be a pin force along the X pointing to the right to balance it out. So therefore, the X component of our F pin is to the right. The Y component is upwards to the north. So our F pin is pointing in this direction. So we're now actually looking for what? Like find the magnitude of the tension. So again, we're asked to find the magnitude of the tension in the cable. And we how now have the liberty to choose our axis of rotation because it's an equilibrium problem. And strategically, we choose this part here. We choose this to be our axis of rotation because then it cancel out the effects of the forces by F pin Y, F pin, and F pin X because we don't know what those forces are for now. So I think it's great that we choose that to be our axis of rotation so that its R's are zero. And maybe we use this formula, RF sine theta. So let's proceed by writing down the summation of torques equal zero. And there are three forces. Actually, there are four forces, but the pin force doesn't contribute to the torque because it sits on our axis of rotation. So effectively, there are three forces producing torque. Torque produced by weight of the person. Torque produced by weight of the beam torque produced by the tension force equals zero. And which forces cause clockwise or counterclockwise rotation? I think work produced by the person is negative on torque that it produces because no, positive, no, negative. I keep forgetting how the clock rotates. OK, negative. <laughs> the torque produced by weight of the beam causes the beam to rotate clockwise, so we add negative there. Torque produced by the tension is positive because at least a component of that tension force causes the beam to rotate counterclockwise. So we're looking for the magnitude of the tension force. So we put the others in the right side of the equation. And torque is R, R, T, R, F, T, force F, T, force T, and um, sine in the short angle is not 53 degrees, believe it or not. It's not 52 degrees. We'll find out what that is later. Why do I say that theta is not 53 degrees? Well, because remember what I said? In order to find the short angle, we connect the position vector r and the uh, force on their tails. And this one here is 53 degrees. But that's not the angle we're interested in. We're interest, interested in this angle, which is 180 minus 53, or 127, if I'm not mistaken. 53, yeah. yeah. Right. So you have to be careful with that. R produced by the per, R, the distance of the person from the axis of rotation the weight of the person. And sine 90 is 1, so I don't, 
I didn't write that there. RB is the distance of the beam from the axis of rotation. WB is the weight of the beam causing a force that rotates the beam counterclockwise. So therefore, FT is just RP, WP plus RB, WB divided by R F T sine theta where theta is uh, 127 degrees over R P is what is our R P 1.5 meters because that's what's written in the problem weight of the person is 600 Newtons RB is like it's acting on the middle so it's a 5 meter long beam so we write 2.5 weight of the beam is 300 so the person is heavier than the beam Let's just realize that now and RFT is 5 because it's acting at the other end of the cable sine 1 to 7. I hope I got this right. I need more space. There's another question. 1.5 times 6 plus 2.5 times... Wait now. divided by oh. oh wow okay I know what problem is Don't forget to put parentheses, guys. <sighs> got the correct answer. That's good. So I got the correct answer, and um, I'm sure you did. You did as well. So look, look at the answer for the second question. It's in rectangular notation. So this is the x component, the y component, and the z component. So this represents f pin x, f pin y. So let's just get f pin x and f pin y. So for f pin x, we just use summation of forces along x equals 0, the other condition for equilibrium, and f y equals 0, summation, the other condition for equilibrium. So what are the forces along the x? We have an x component of the tension force ft x and let me just draw ft and that's acting is the shadow acting towards the west and ft y is acting towards the north so i'm just i'm going to assign here negative i hat for FTX because it's pointing to the negative X direction and we add F pin X this is proving to be one of my longer videos so therefore F pin X is just and like F pin X is I hat so if you cancel I hats what's left is you can cancel IATs here. What's left is F in X is equal to F T X. And this angle is 50 degrees. So we know, and you have to review your Sokatoa, that F T X is just F T cosine of 53. And that should get us, like our F T is 
412.5 times cosine 53 that should get us 248 but just to be sure uh, 412 times cosine 53 right I got the correct answer and along the Y, we have several forces. We actually have just four forces. We have F in Y, J hat. Now you, for this, you look at the free body diagram. And then we have F T Y is also J hat. And um, let's just W P, that's negative J hat. It's pointing downward and finally WB that's negative J hat pointing downward as well and all of this is equal to zero so we cancel out the J hats you are left with F pin um, let's call this Y F pin Y is equal to WP plus WB minus FTY and WP is just what is WP the weight of the person 600 plus 300 is the weight of the beam minus FTY is FT sine 53 so FT is uh, 412.5. So 600 plus 300 is 900 plus 412.5 times sine 53 should give us. Oh, okay. 900 minus. Um, 412 sine 53 okay got the correct answer so that's it thank you now if you want to test your these solutions are really long so but if you want to practice you can try this problem okay, thank you